Ribbit. Well, today I'm going to attempt to mess with Seal Who. So, start up Sly. Sly me up. Alright, so, first off. Uh, I can load Seal Who up. And then let's say I can do like this. Seal who with HTML output to string and then give it the I guess like the stream. This is like standard. If you just put the S here, I don't know if anything will work, but if you just put S there, it'll automatically go to like standard out. Oh, and then I want to go like this. And the second one's for like variables and stuff, I guess that you're gonna pass. And then <laughs> I think I can just go like this, HTML. And let's just say if we had a head. And then here we'll have a like a meta tag, let's say, R set ETF eight. And then we'll close the head. Let's put a body. And then we'll do an H1. And then maybe a paragraph. Instead of closing the Paragraph tag, oops, like this. And I want to say like a BR, or do it like this maybe. Oops, yeah, without the paragraph. Well, let's just put it like this first and see what happens. BR, and then here I could say, I think I can do the BR like that. I don't see it doing anything funky with it. But I think I can put a BR like this too, probably. Which just seems more natural, yeah. And then notice it's not putting the like doc type up here. Oops. And so I think you have to type this out. I want to put the doc type there, standard. I'll put nil, and right here I'll just say log t, and then that will put the doc type, and then indent t will make it where it indents better. Standard output. I misspelled output also. Output. Oh, duh, put it in the wrong one. So, oops. I don't too many of them. I forgot I don't have pair edit on. Oh, this will be fun. So, one more, right? Yeah, and then close that. And then let me put pair edit on just because I was playing with that earlier and now I got used to it again. I haven't been using it in a while. And then this goes right here. So, replace the S. With standard output and then nil and then prolog. How do you spell prolog? Prolog t and indent t. 
There we go. And then you have the doc type. And then to see that, you can say like CL who, uh, HTML mode, I think. Wow, can't type today for some reason. Maybe not ever. Mode. Bullet H. No, oh, I must felt HTML mode too. Wow. So XML. And so I'd rather have like the HTML5 doc type because it's way shorter. HTML mode. And then set F. I think I get rid of these brackets though, actually. ML five. This has to be like this, maybe. There we go. And then now, if I run that again, you'll see it's HTML five. And if I go back and type this out. Then the doc type's right here, and it's the shorter one. Um, and then I guess it's kind of weird to put like a href. So if I also say like a href, and then. Get the link here, maybe. So if I was just to say like, I'm gonna build, and then see right here, sly is sly lighted string. So sly is just truncating that data. So let's come over here and say. Sly, elided, string links, elided string of links, and then come over here on this page at the bottom, can set this off. And now if I do it again, then we'll see this. And then we actually don't have the link, so, or what goes there. So then I think we just put this again. And then it builds the link correctly. I don't like the way it indents, but whatever. Like, puts it, like I'd rather have the A tag and the P tag posing in better spots, but it's better than no indentation. So now, this is just spinning out to the REPL, to actually get it to start, we'd have to load Hutch and Toot also. Now Hutch and Toot's running. And so, I think we gotta make, I just say like test page, I guess. And I'll just say like test page and then give it a URI and then give it the link I'm going to use. actually not the right way to do this because I have to start it and set up this so I'll say def parameter and then I'm just going to call it left off because I'm going to try to build something in a minute and then since I have pair edit on I'm hitting control j to go to the next line and then make instance so we got to make an instance and then tbnl short for hunch and toot 
Yeah, it's an old name. And I'll give it a port. And I'm just going to run on 4096. And I'm going to give it a document root, which you don't have to do, but this just lets me have a preferred path to start everything in. And I want to say, like, www, let's say. I think that's all I have to do. And I can say tbnl. And anywhere I'm typing tbnl, I can type Hutch and Toot. I'm just going to be using tbnl because it's shorter. Start, and then give it the name that I gave it up there. And this is the instance. Now that that's done, I should. I was playing with that earlier. Uh, go to localhost and then 4096. And so it's running. The reason it's airing out is because I told it to go to the document root and then there's not a index file in there, but you can see Hutch and Toots running. So if I was to say C slash www, let's say, and then Oh, there is an index page in there, though. Oh, you want to know why? Because I didn't put the slash at the end. So, this file over here, this has RAR in there right now. So, uh, I guess I have to stop. So, I'd say stop left off, I think. Why is it busy? I need to hit F5, I guess. Is it still running? Yeah, it is. I don't know how to stop it, I guess. Oh, there we go, it stopped. And so I need to put a slash there. I guess I couldn't find that file maybe. And then now if I say start that. There we go. So the next thing to do would be to actually create a page I can go to, I guess. So I'll say tbnl and then find easy acceptor. Easy handler. I think that's what I'm doing wrong. And then I'll call it test page and then give it a URI of slash test page. And then right here, I'm not passing anything in there right now. But I think that's what I have to do. And then now if I come over here and say slash test page, uh, I guess nothing will be there. There we go. It was just going on kind of slow. And then now I can say CL who and then do with HTML output to string. And then what I was doing earlier, just so we can go ahead and see everything, I guess I'll go ahead and type this out now. I'll put mail and say the log T which will give it the doc type and then indent the, so my source code's indented. 
and then here I should be able to say like HTML. Give it a head. And then here, let's give it a meta tag of char set. TF8. And then meta, just to show another one. I guess we can say like description. Or is it name? Meta name, description, and then content. And I'll just say like ridding with who let's say, and then give it a title. And who then close the head and open the body and then we'll say like h1 everything with still who and I want to say like maybe try to put a form here so form and then input type text. And then I think you got to put a name in these guys. So let's say name and I'll call it uh, uname for username, let's say. which I think this has to be in quotes actually. So, uh, I just hit control, right arrow to move that over, I guess, when I did that name, and I don't think it needs to have a value in it. And maybe a size. So I'll just give it a size of 45, let's say. And then if I do this one more time, I put type text name, say like, just call it OS. Then I guess to make sense, if I said like, let's put text right here, I think. I'll say name, and then right here, oops. I'll say preferred OS, let's say. I guess I need to close that. That will close my form. So I will just say like input type, submit, and then value, submit. Now, although I was over here in Hutchins here, right? This, I forgot to put it inside there, so it still has nothing there. Cause I'm just outputting to the REPL right now. Which I thought that's what this right here would do. So who with outputs to string. That's my easy handler, I bet. So let me copy all this stuff here or cut it actually. And then I need to go back over to this guy and then paste this in there, I think. And then now it didn't spit it out to the REPL. So if I come over here and then if I come back over here, I guess I should put a BR after the first dude here, maybe. And then come over here and refresh this page, let's say. 
And then now if I say, oh, I didn't give it a size, let's just make those sizes actually. So come back over here and put this one at the size of 45. And then after that, put a BR here too. And then now if I refresh this page, so I can come over here and say like Joe and BBSD and submit. <clears throat> and notice it put it up here. I guess I actually didn't put a, like a form data in there either. Cause it's just, I guess because I didn't put it in there one in my form, I didn't put like the method I'm using. So it's using a get up here. So I guess the first thing I can come over here, so let me go put this on a separate line here and then get inside those quotes So I can put you name and then OS, let's say, and then uh, this should work right here. So let me just try and let's see. Variable you name is defined but never used. The variable OS is in the, that's fine. Uh, which didn't change nothing on the page. But I guess I should at least put a method here. So method, and we'll say post. And I guess without an action, it's just coming to the same page. So maybe that's okay. And then same thing, I'm still getting that same error or warning, it's not really an error. So if I close the form and then right here, I could say like, put a P tag and say, mm, okay, so here I wanna put a P tag and let's say I wanna say, you name. I don't think this is going to work. It didn't give me that same error. So let's just see if I say P O S I'm not giving those warnings, it's not necessarily an error. And then if I come over here and put some stuff over here, it's not spinning that out. Cause I don't think seal who knows how to spit stuff out like this. So there's different ways. So we can say CL who str and then right here I can hit control right arrow since pair edits on and it's gonna jump over to there and then right here I'll say CL who str and then move that over and then now if I say test test then I get that stuff back and if I look at the source code over here then you can see this information it's putting out and the input type, all this stuff looks correct. So, so far so good. Now, um, there's different ways you could type this out. Well, let's just try it like this. I could say like, seal who you name, and then say, uh, like maybe like this. And I guess I'd want to get rid of that P tag right there, but let's just test it and make sure it works. Yeah, let's prefer to ask this open BSD. There we go. And then what we could do, I guess, is come over here and grab this tag and get rid of that stuff here. And then Actually, I don't need this at the end. The base there, I think. Oops, I'm trying to save that file. And then. We put that on a separate line because the P tag's closed. So I'd want to maybe come over here and Make that P tag go over one more. And then now I think. And then if I wanted to come over here and then I would want to say like, 
a dot, let's say. Might as well put something in there. And BOS, let's say. Now, you can also use escape, but you can also use a format. So I guess I could try to show this real quick too, because it might be of concern. So I also come back over here, say P and then say seal who str. Well, maybe it'd be in the form actually. So I think I can just leave it like it is. And then if I was to come over here and say like script, I don't know crap about JavaScript. So let me just go look this up real quick. I'll just say this. They don't have to say script though. I guess window.alert would work, but. Yeah, we'll see if that will work too. Is there a script tag I can do? There we go. Script. I don't have to say JavaScript there, I can just say script. Put you back over to I don't know, that's what I was trying to do a minute ago. Okay. So if I move this over here, and just do it this way. Script type equal text uh, script. I notice how it runs that JavaScript code. And so if you don't want that to happen, then you can use escape here. Oops, I'm hitting the insert button on accident. And then right here, I guess you have to do the same thing here. And then if you were to do that, Submit that, then it's just going to spit this out. If you look at the code, it's just putting the HTML entities there. And then because this is so ugly here, the easier way to do this would be to use a format. So, but I think it would be susceptible to the same thing if I use format. So, if I said like a uh, CL who format, and then I could say Tilde A's. Do I have to do it like this? Third. OS is tilde A. And then right here I'd put new name and OS. And then if I refresh, I don't even know if I have to refresh the page. Sam and Linux, let's say. And then I guess, yeah, because that character wouldn't matter here. So I could go like this. And then
I guess the only problem with this is I think if you do it like this, this will still mess you up, and it would. I'm not really sure. Unless I came over here and said, if I was to say CL to escape, you name. And see how the escape OS will that work? Yeah, that's a way to get around that, I guess. It looks like it typed it out twice for some reason. Oops. And there he goes. <laughs> and test. So yeah, for some reason it's spinning it out twice on the set. I say Joe and Linux. And Joe Linux preferred OS is Joe Linux. So obviously I Can't do that. That kind of sucks. So I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but I just don't know anything about CL Who really. So I think from here, what I'll do is just cut all that. And I'm gonna start a new page. I'll put it in C www and call it left off, let's say. And then paste. Oops. So if I undo that, control space to start highlighting. And then shift alt greater than control W to cut. Control X B, Control X, and then B. I switch back to this over here, and I'm going to go ahead and make a new page right here. I think this is like a function maybe that I'm setting. I'm just gonna call it left off, and then come over here, and call this left off. And then get rid of this for right now. Keep all this the same. And then I'll leave that there. I'll change the title to left off, let's say. And then I think I'll leave H1 there, but call this left off. And I'm going to center this. Yes. But have that the way that this was actually expecting it to be. And then name, uh, I think I'll just get rid of all this for now. Leave all that there, come over here. Then I wanna say, uh, Maybe add some more of these guys in here just to make it. Oh, you know what? I don't have the air edit on. Save that file. Alt X. Air edit mode. <laughs> this is going to get really ugly. I'll just go ahead and warn you. So, the basics of CL Who you've seen. And then now I'm just going to try to get uglier to try to learn more about CL Who. So, uh, now we have a form. Well, I think we can add more of these things in here. So there's like a meta name. I think there's one called keywords, maybe. So content. 
So I'm a lisp. So who? Function toot. I think we can also put like an author or something. So meta name author and then content pivot face, let's say, and then the title. And if I go like this, so this is that body. I guess I got rid of my form somewhere I didn't realize. The body and the H1. And I don't want to center this. So if I come back to the front of this guy, hit tab, and then get right inside the end of it, insert it, and then hit control left arrow, that will uncenter my form. And then inside my form, I want to say I can make a form so I'll just say right here like this is maybe like adding a record let's say so add entry maybe well, I kind of want to put that before that I guess so cut that and then put this here and I'll put a space there and then inside my form, and let me put the method there. And if I want to put an action, well, I just want to see what it does without that there. Let's just see what happens. So action, no action. I'll put an action there in a little bit. So inside a form, I can put a table, but I don't think I can do it the other way around. But I haven't messed with like HTML and since like 2003 or something. So it's cell spacing five and so adding, let's put three. And I have to leave my table open. And then here I could put a TR. And then this will be like making a form like I was doing over there, I think. So I probably can just go like this TD and then maybe I'll put this on a separate line. Type text. Well, I could have left that there, I guess, but TD, let's say align, right, and then title. Like that. I don't think that's how you do the stuff. Let's see, and then TD, and then here, I'll say input type text name and we'll just say like left off title size oops size 45 let's say close that And then close the TD and then close the TR. I almost want to say that could fit on one line. Yeah, okay, so that's even better. And then here I'll say TR. Let's 
again, we'll say like T align line right, and then call this one left off. It's not TD. And we'll open up a new TD. And I don't think this will fit because I'll put a text area here. So we'll say text area name and call this like left off description. And then rows to let's say in columns 45. Close that TR. Close the TR. And then I'll say a new TR. And a new TD. And it's something like submit button, so give it a whole span of two. This one will align center. And then inside that TD, I want to have another input type. Input type. This one I'll call hidden. Give it a name of faction for form action. And then give it a value of, let's say, f at, because I'm going to be adding a field in there. Close the input. And then now I need a submit button. So input type submit value. Submit, let's say. No. Oh. So now, because I'm in a file, I'm going to hit Control C, Control K to load that. And at least, like, come over here and see what it looks like, I guess. So. I called this one left off. And then now we have our stuff over here. Of course, it doesn't do anything yet. And then. I guess the next thing would be to close the form and then just spit some data out to make sure it's working, I guess. So I call it one of them um, low title and the other one low description. So I just want to spit those out, I think. So once again, I have to use that seal who oh, I can use escape here, I guess. Right, I could use CL escape here, I think. And then I'll call it the title and then CL escape the desk. And I'll put a BR here. Define variable load title and load desk. So the reason it's saying that is because I left these empty. I'm surprised this is even working. I think I have to put this right here. So, oh no, it's working correctly because it's right here. So if I put load desk here and load title here, control XS. Control C, Control K. 
control X O Q to get rid of that window. And then now if I come over here and say like title and then I can say like let's just say practical common lisp and then say I left off on page twenty two. There we go. And then I guess to start off with, I'll maybe need a variable to put this in. So what I can do is I'm just going to go to the front of this right here. And this way I can load the page again. Let's say quick load. Punch and toot, let's say. Punch and toot. And seal who. And then I'm going to say def var, because I don't want it to change unless I'm changing it from the code, let's say. And I'll make that be a nil value, because I want it to be a list. And then I'm going to put list inside that list. So it's going to be like a nested list. And then I'm going to say the first thing I want to do now is to maybe come back to my REPL. Control X, then B, switch over here, and I'm just going to restart uh, Lisp. And then I'll say load, and I'll give it that. Uh, well, I got to turn pair edit back on. R edit, I don't know how you're supposed to spell that or pronounce that. So if I say load and then, oops, comp e c www, I think I put it in here called left off. Now I should be able to come back over here and it's still there, right? No, it didn't work. I wonder what kind of code I left out of here. So I started the easy handler. I haven't uh, started Hunch and Toot, and I didn't give it my uh, def parameter. So let's go back to the REPL. And although I restarted it, I still should remember it because I didn't close Emacs. So. If I say control R and then def, def parameter, then I have this line right here. So what I'll do is cut that and then come back over here and add that. I don't know if it's, there we go. Re-tab that, re-indent it, whatever. And then we can put the TBNL start left off here. Now, normally I'd want to put this in a package but I'm not going to put it in a package right now just because it's making me, like, if I put it in a package and, and then pulled in CL and CL who, then when I type these things out, like right here, CL who escape, I wouldn't have to type that out. But for right now, I'm just going to not put it in a package, stay in my common Lisp or common CL user package that I'm in over here, right here, CL user. And then I guess I could not import that and be in my own package and then do this. But uh, for right now, I'm just going to leave it like this. So now I should be able to save this file. And then if I go back over here and then restart again. Hopefully it'll load now. So if I say load P and then give it. Well, let me turn on the pair edit again. Then I'll say load on P uh, C W W left off. And if I don't get an error, I'm hoping this works now. Okay. And then if I put test and test. Okay, so that's all good. 
So let's come back over here now. And if I come back over here, I can do the low data and it should be nil. So low data is there and it's nil, which now I should start being able to push stuff inside here, I think. So while I'm still inside here, what I can do maybe is, because this is working here, should I just leave this for debugging for a moment? And come over here, and I still, well, I just need to be out of this one, I guess. And so what I want to do is be able to spit that out, I guess. And then maybe I'll just put this inside another table. And maybe we'll have like an edit and a delete button or something. So um, I think I'll just put a BR here. Different browsers will interact with that differently, but I haven't messed with this in so long, I don't know. I just don't want the tables to be touching each other, I guess. And then I don't know, like how it's going to indent my code if I put the border here. So I might put the border under that. So if I say border one and cell padding five, let's say, and then cell spacing three, and then keep my table open. See how it's, I'm starting my TR so far over since I'm going to be putting so much stuff in here. Although it's probably not very lisp like I'm going to put my border down here. So my TRs are a little bit, Give me more room and because I don't like scrolling off the screen very much. And Lisp is okay with its indentation, I guess. But when I'm messing with CLHU, it's not. Like, look how far this stuff is. Like, I'd rather just, like, HTML, I prefer to use like two spaces, I guess. But I'm not going to try to mess with that too much. In case I'm actually typing some code, but I think all my code has to be inside this, inside this right here for me to be able to see it. <laughs> so the seal who, this first seal who, this is coming all the way down here. And granted, it's coming from here too, all the way down to these guys right here, let's say. So I'll say like TD, or I guess these could be THs because this table can have a headers, so let's say. So um, eventually I'll have an edit button, let's say. So let's put an edit here. And since I'm not in the REPL anymore, I can just hit enter even though my form is closed because I'm just in a text file now. So I'll put a title, let's say. And then after the title, I think I'll just call this one left off. Like left off is kind of like one word, but also I'm leaving off somewhere. So left off, that's where I left off at. And then a delete button, I guess. So that should close that one, I think. And hmm. I'm just going to leave this table broken because before I start typing this code, I need to start pushing this into the list up top. So we call it low data, or I call it low data. So maybe before I make this happen, I should think about how to get it inside. How to get it inside there?
if I'm editing, because I'm going to have another form to edit stuff in, which means I'll call that F edit, let's say. Oh. Uh, Well, maybe I'll worry about that after I push my stuff into the list. So I called this F ad right here, let's say. So I called this F ad. Sorry, I'm just thinking this stuff out for a minute. And then maybe under here, under that form, what I can do is say, now, normally I should probably use cons because I'm going to use a bunch of wins. But this stuff is all already nested in so much stuff. So if I put a con, then all my cons are going to be nested inside there. I'm spitting out all this code, so I'm just going to cheat a little bit and use uh, a win. So I'm going to say win equal faction f add. So form actions right here, which means. I need to come up here to this right here and add faction for a form action, let's say. So when the form action, so when equal form action f add, then what I want to do is to push some stuff onto that list, let's say. see when equal form action f add then and i don't really want to push it on there if it's empty either i don't think it matters but just to make it more messed up while i'm trying to learn this stuff if i say not string equal so if not a string equal low title nothing so I think it's gonna put an empty string in there if I tr if I put this empty maybe If not, let me see, if not, string equal nothing. Close the not. And then we'll say seal who htm. And then give it a p tag. And this will be like uh, saying you just updated, so you just updated your who guess I'll say escape low title Let's close the win. Let's just see if this works. Control CK that. If I say something and something. So you just updated this. And now if I take this out, let's say. So I want to say it's not going to work with this, but I'm not really sure. Like. Let's see. Let me see what the error is over here, actually. So I'm not really sure. So the function p is undefined. So for some reason, when you're weaving in and out of 
lift code and this CL who, let's say. And uh, this is something I kind of don't like about CL who so far is, but it's not a big deal, but maybe it's not as smooth as I'd want it to be weaving in and out of the HTML, right? So I can't just come over here and say when, if, and then put my P tag here inside the middle of this list code because CL who doesn't understand like I'm typing this lift code inside the CL who stuff right here. So this is Hutchin two and this is CL who, but as soon as I'm inside a, let's say a list form or S expression, but like this whole form right here from here to here, it's inside this win. And in this case, it's inside this if now all of a sudden I want to use the CL who, and it doesn't understand that. So, and it's just a list bearer. Let's just see if it's like, like, what was it? Yeah, this is a function. So Lisp is seeing this code and saying, like, yo, there's no such thing as a function called colon p here. So what I have to do is say cl who htm. And then if I do that, then I can come back over here. And what's cool about Lisp, I guess, is it doesn't matter that I messed up. As soon as I fix the code, it's still just going to work or whatever. So if I come over here and say, like, page 22 again, then it's spitting out page 22, which I thought I was going to tell me you just added something. So because of this, you just added that because I put this and this. There we go. It's because the page wasn't refreshed, I guess. So if I go back and put this over here and say page 22, this is just the debug information. And this is the actual what I want here. Uh, I guess I can get rid of that debug information in just a minute though. Before, because I just want to be able to uh, get the stuff inside of a, a list real quick, which I got kind of sidetracked with this, but... Uh, Then let me close the stuff, see where I was at. I think I can close this stuff to see who though. Or So actually, I want to close that if, and then let's say if, and here I'll put an and, and now I'm going to say not, and then or, because these I think can be like, hmm, this one right here is just checking this if it's empty. But I'm fixing to push something in the list and I don't want it to be nil. So what I'll say is an or here. So this is just this, this part's just for you just added. But if neither one of these are gonna be empty, then I want to actually push this into a list, let's say. So if I say not or and then pretty much do the same thing as above. I'll say string equal uh, low title, nothing, or ring equal low title, nil, let's say. And when you're passing, like, although in my, I want to say, Although some of my stuff over here, like when I'm in low data, isn't nil. Nil's not a string, let's say, 
But when I'm messing inside this, uh, when I'm messing inside the seal who, some of the things will be a string. So I'm gonna say the same thing here. Sorry, no desk. Oops, I don't know how to pull those out. So if I come over here, put the parentheses here, I can hit control right. And same thing over here, I missed this one. I don't know how to pull those back. I know how to pull the parentheses back like I just did right there, but I don't know how to pull the, for some reason when I put the quotes there, they don't pull back. So they push forward though. I just don't know how to do it. I'm sure you can do it. Uh, so I'll just put a string equal low desk nil. All right. So now. I want to and I guess the other thing I wonder is because I want to push with like normally this would go to a database right but I need to have some kind of can I use a length like if I use a length of the list but if I delete something from the list, then I can't use the length of the list because it's not going to be unique. And I think there's like a get universal time or something like that. And so this should give me a unique number for me anyway. So maybe I can push that into my list, I guess. So now what I want to do is like set up low data, which is the list I was choosing earlier up top. I just want to center this a little bit better. So set up low data. And then what I'm going to set this to. So now I'm going to try to push. Uh, if I come over here and I say like, let me just like def far, or let me use def parameter. I can change this in a minute and I'm just going to call it my list. My list. And then I'll just call it like an empty list, let's say. All right. And so then if I want to say, I think I just say push high to my list. And then now I can call my list. And it'll push that on there. And so if I def parameter that again, I can push, let's say, hello, dude, hello, dude, to my list. Then now my list has that in there. So if I set that back to nothing, so now I want to say set f, and then I want to push. And then I'm going to put the back tick there. And that way I can uh, put commas inside here. So I want to say like push and then back tick, which will let me call this function here. The first universal time, get universal time. And then I also want to push low title. And I also want to push low disk, let's say. And then I want to push that onto low data. And error while parsing arguments to special operator if two field elements. 
So I think I missed my uh right here. So I'm not sure like right here how I pull these, like what it's gonna pull when I'm in par parrot edit. So what I want to do is come over here and pull it from here. And what I'm trying to do is get one of these double quotes, one of these parentheses to move right here. And the only way I know how to do it, like I want to come right here and do it, I just don't know how, but if I come right here and pull it, then I think I can pull one of them to be right here. So I'll just hit control left arrow. And that didn't put it where I wanted it to. That pulled it all the way over there. So control shift underscore. So uh, if I come over here and pull it, that pulled the wrong one. Control shift underscore. So maybe if I come over here and pull it. <laughs> okay, so that pulled it. So that's what I wanted to be able to do. So I had to go to the end of it. And when I went to the end of it, control left arrow, and it pulled that one over. So I think if I say control CK now, once at least two. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put the quotes. And I didn't want the quotes there actually. So let me pull this one over. So like I can't pull that double quote over. I don't know how to pull the quote over. Yeah, like I don't know how to pull quotes over. So if I just, like I was thinking I mistyped earlier and I didn't. So I'm gonna cut this, oops. Oops, I don't know how to like, let me pull that back over again. Oh, now it's not working. There we go. <clears throat> uh, I'm just gonna type it out like this. That wasn't a typo earlier, I thought it was. And then, with pair edit wasn't on, then I can swap those around, but I think it conflicts with some of the Emacs keys for swapping two characters around. And I'm sure there's a way to do it, I just don't know how to do it inside here. So, yeah, I wanna save it, and then I don't get no errors, so Control X, O. Hit, well, in the world. Control O. Oh. My headphones were under one of the keys, the wire, so it wasn't working. Control X O oh, and then hit Q. It'll close that debug window. And let me just come over here and get rid of get this cursor is just sitting there, I don't know why. Uh so this now let me try this. So if I come over here and put that and then page 22 here and hit submit. It doesn't do anything on this page. Well, let me make sure that it doesn't do anything on this one either. So if I say low data, so it's nil. So now if I say this, page 22, hit submit. And then now if I say low data, it didn't push anything on there. I guess I should have pushed stuff before I put all this if stuff inside here. So that is low data. I don't know why it's red either, but I called it low data up here. And is it still nil? I keep trying to switch windows. So it is nil. I guess the first thing too is in my debugging, I'll put a uh, BR and then CL who escape faction. So F add, you just updated that. And if I come back over here, low data is still, okay, so uh, did I not compile that? 
maybe I should have refreshed the page. I'm not sure. So now it actually pushed it over here. So granted, I don't want that in there, let's say, but I'll worry about that in a minute. So if I say page 22 now, and then call load data again. Well, that time it didn't work. Maybe it's because I didn't hit enter here. Is that what I did? I didn't even pay attention to that. Is that why it's doing that? Yes, it was. Um, I, I was just trying to like come over here and hit tab. I guess I, you probably saw that and I didn't. So I needed to hit enter, um, which means this is working now. I don't know if I accidentally put that semicolon there. Um, so I think now maybe to add this table down here, maybe so I can spit that out and practical comment list with page 22, it's getting over there. So I think I can get rid of this debugging info here, maybe. But I will leave. Uh, I'll just put another BR right here for now. I will leave the form action because I'll be using that. The other data seems to be pulling in. So this closes the TR, yes. So now I can come over here. Then I want a loop for entry, let's say, and low data. And then how is this going to work? So loop for entry and low data. And then I would want to put a do here. And you don't put parentheses around a do. Loop's really weird. It breaks like the list paradigm because it's a DSL. So you would think there'd be a parentheses there, but there's not. And I think because I want to start spitting out this table, I want to have to put that uh, seal who here, HTM. I always want to put HTML, but it's HTM. And then TR. And then let's put a TD here. And then once again, because I'm inside the Lisp, code right here, this loop, in order to get HTML, like in order to get CLHU, no, I'm using HTML tags, I have to put that CLHU HTM right here, because I'm inside a, I guess, normal common Lisp code. And then, I want this to be the delete, but I think for right now, I don't have to think about it and just get the code working. Let me just go like this, I think, and put a, like, can I just put and non-breaking space here? And then close the TD. I'm hoping that will work. So that one should be delete, let's say, or the edit. So I'll put edit and then at the end, I'll put delete, let's say. So then on this, this, this one, I want to say CLU escape second entry. And then right here, did I not close the TV here? There we go. 
and then TD CL who escape third entry close that TD all gonna be one one so this is gonna be all one row let's say one entry so I also want to put another TV here and then and non breaking space just so the table doesn't collapse I don't know if they still collapse what they used to And when you're in a uh, sly, closing this parentheses shows you which one you're closing, but uh, closing this stuff in the list file doesn't do that. So it's kind of annoying. It's not very long. Like, let's just see how many of them I can see though. So here I'm closing the TD. Closing the loop, closing the table. Matches body. Okay, you showed that to me. Matches HTML. I don't want to be in closing the HTML. I don't know if you saw that, but it started showing me. So down here it's showing me matches body. And I don't want to be in that one either, so close the table, close the body. I don't want to close the body just because I want to put a BR down here. Because I don't like when my table like when my data is all the way at the bottom, I want to put a BR before the end of the page just for personal, it bugs me, I guess. And then the second entry and third entry are these over here. So if I go back to my list, or actually low data. So we have first, second, third, first, second, third. So the first is the timestamp and then the title and then the low description. And then if I come back over here and hit just enter on this page, we can now see the stuff that I was putting inside here. And then at this point, I want to add a delete and a edit key. So for now, and I always want this to be here. So I think the easiest one would be to add a delete. And just to make sure that my table did the and non breaking breaking spaces correctly. See right here. That was just putting these right here. If I take these out, sometimes it'll just collapse that table. Well, it's just to put like TD here, let's say. And actually, I could have just put a space right here, I bet, because HTML understands one space. But sometimes that space will used to collapse. That's like 20 years ago, so. Oops, control C, control K. If I come back over here and reload this page again, then I guess it doesn't care about that. After all, I refresh that page, it didn't collapse. So back in the old days, these would sometimes collapse the table. Uh, delete key, I guess, is what's going to come next. So. Because I didn't put an action in here though, like notice because there's no action, I don't know how Hutch and Toot is gonna react with a submit button being a post, but these being get strings, so a get get request instead of a post. So uh, I guess we'll find that out right now. So I want to say inside this, so this right here might get ugly actually. So a href a href do i put like a seal who here the cl uh, 
I have one of those up here, so let me think. Right here's one. But I, did I close that one? Let's see who that stuff's not closed yet. So can I do a seal who str and then tell it like low data equal. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to do that one. Because it's going to have to be at least a format here. So low ID. Tilt A and low title equals tilt A. It's going to make this big for now because it's going to scroll too far. I don't think I can put, like, I, I can't really put spaces inside here. Uh, so low ID. Tilde A, low title tilt A, and low desk equal tilt A, let's say. And then now I can put this on another line. So maybe I could have left that smaller. Yeah, it just barely fits. And so first entry. I think I'll just do this. Second entry. Will they all fit on the same line, I wonder? First entry, second entry. No, they won't. Third. So I will just come over here and go like this, I guess. And spell second correctly. And third entry. That will close that, but my href still needs the delete. And that closes the href. So supposedly that will work. And so if I come over here and refresh this, I guess. A href. I have delete sitting there, but what does it do? The, the link there. So the href disappeared. I don't understand why I did that. format but like it just straight up absorb the href part right here I go up here to remember I was putting well I don't think I have an href on here but on the other page I had a href this right here the string and escape can't work there because I'm using like these right here the first I'm using the code so those won't work without well could I make it really ugly maybe I don't know what happens if I just put a format here If I refresh that page, it's still, that means that it still eat the href. 
So even when I put a format there, it's eating this href for some reason. Well, if I change this to nil, maybe. Will that make a difference? Okay. And then now that you're at the bottom, if I hover over it for a second, it'll go out. So we have low IDs now there, the title practical common list is there and page 22 is there. Uh, I'm just passing this data over here. Like if I was going to a database, I could just probably pass the ID only, but I'm kind of cheating to later on when I edit this. Well, when I delete it, it doesn't matter maybe. So maybe with deleting, it won't matter. Yeah, actually. Probably don't need the third one there on this one. Do I need the title? Yes, because I want to say you just deleted it, actually. So this right here I don't need. So I can get rid of this one, I think. Oh, so it means I can put this on the previous page or the previous line. Um, so I don't think I need that one there. So if I refresh this, it's still going to work. And then so theoretically, the only thing I need here is <laughs> the ID, but because I want to be able to say you just deleted practical common list, for instance, I'm going to pass that data now else. When I delete it, I'd have to do another loop and then go grab that stuff, which I don't want to have to do. But I am going to have to do it for editing. So now if I click delete, it's not going to do anything. <laughs> but it does put that information up here. Which means I go write the code for deleting that stuff, I guess. Uh, which should be kind of simple, I think, compared to editing. Uh, and then if this was a database, I wouldn't have to pass as much information, maybe just the ID. But once again, it's just kind of like cheating. I wouldn't have to like query the database for that. But I still have to delete it so it wouldn't matter maybe because it's going to the database and I have to grab that, that entry anyway. So maybe before... Uh, oh, you know what? This still needs a form action too, though, right? Um, I think I have to add. So although I took out that, I'm going to make this page big again. I'm still going to have to put a form action here. I don't know why my cursor freaks out sometimes. I think that's usually control L to like recenter stuff it makes the cursor stop acting funky. So I want to have low ID, low title, and then I'm going to have a form action and I'm going to call it form delete. Let's say now I can put that back over there. Uh, uh, I guess it looks funky, but whatever is that recenter stuff. Now that I changed it. So that means I need to come back over here. And I got to click it one more time, I think, for that to come up. Uh, I didn't compile it. So Control X, Control S to save, Control C, Control K to compile. And then format is complaining now, which it wasn't earlier.
that line's too long for me. Requires at least three parameters. So I don't need a description anymore. That was the third one. And it's still just a little too long. But maybe here, like now it's like a, it's a matter of, do I break the HR like this? The AHRF. It's kind of ugly that way, but at least this like whole lines on one line, which I guess granted I could probably go this like I don't know if this is gonna work though, like the h ref might freak it out for being on another line. Let's see looks like it's still working, but I guess it doesn't matter because it fits there now. Uh, and then cue out of that. So, my form actions F delete. Which, if I come over here, I think I'll add it before the add. Although, that is after. I kept it all in line as far as the table. It's af after this, after the add, but I'm adding this in here. I guess that's not these right here. So I want to put this first, I think. It doesn't really matter, but. So. The same, here's what I was talking about, like a cond. I should be using a cond here, but. It's already so like nested that I think it's just easier to use a win. So here I'll just say like uh delete entry, I guess. So when equal action F delete. Now I'm gonna set F low data. So we'll say set F low data and then I don't know if it's easier to show it in the REPL or there's just remove if Remove if, uh, it's kind of ugly though. If I say my list, I'm not messing with this. So let me set F my list to low data, let's say. And so now I have my list. Ooh, that's not what I wanted to do. Set F, I don't think it is. Set F my list to Copy list, low data, I think that's what I want to do actually. And then now I have my list, so it's just a copy of it. That way if I change one, it doesn't change the other, which I'm not sure it would have, but it might have. Uh, which means, maybe if I copy this real quick on the other one. So if I come over here and copy this, then I can show you what I'll try to do right here, which is remove if, and then you have to use a, I think I have to use a Lambda here. Um, which is kind of funky, I guess, but I could say like remove, cause I think it has to be a predicate. So see right here where it's asking for a predicate, which is like equal P, number P, string P type of thing, where you have the little P at the end for the question, I guess, like a predicate. And so like if I had a list of numbers, I could say remove if odd P, remove if even P, let's say. But because there's no way for me to say remove if this number P right here, 
this particular one, I'm probably gonna have to use a lambda, I think. So what you'll do is do like a lambda and then we'll say entry. And then, so I could say equal car. Uh, if I say equal car entry, I want to say like remove equal car entry, which means I have to do a car like this, like this. So equal car entry. And then if I gave it that number right there, I want to say, right for the FAF. Close a lambda, right? Give it uh, my list, I think. And then see how it removed it. So I removed this one right here. All it's showing is this one right here. And then, of course, if I say my list, it's still there. So it didn't actually, it didn't actually remove it, but it returned everything that's in there except for the one that I asked for. And so then what I'd want to do is just, you know, the ugly way to do it, just the way I'm going to do it is set F, set F, my list. Do that. Like, did it go all the way over there? I think it did. And then now if I do my list, it'll be gone. So basically that's what I'm gonna do right here. Which I guess I could just, well, it's not exactly the same code because I'm passing, instead of passing the number, in like this I'm gonna be passing low ID in which is why I put this down here so this is why low ID has to be here so when I come over here I know which one I want to delete so set up low data to be set up low data to be remove if uh, lambda entry and an equal car entry, which I did it again, and car, uh, car, which car entry needs to be low underscore ID, one, two, three, and then low data. I'm not really sure why I make some of these red. And now it's going to air out. During macro expansion, break on signal, odd number of arguments to set off. I put this on the wrong spot. Let me just see what's happening here. First off, that's closing. It's just easier for me to like this. Closing that, that's closing the Lambda. It's closing that, that's closing that Lambda. I do want to close the Lambda and then pass this in here. And then that's closing remove F and the set F. Is that correct? Low ID, and then actually, I'm gonna put these in order that I'm using them. Low ID, low title, low desk. 
So that compiled. Either get out of there and then just see. Because this might not work. Yeah. Because I'm wondering if that's passing that number as a string whenever I do the low data. It's probably going to say it's not a number or something somewhere. So the value of this is not a number. So I don't think I can change anything around here. I wonder if I could tell it a common list tilde a if there's a tilde i or something to be an integer, or if see how who's just going to eat that up. Like a. Like maybe a D, a D. I just put a tilde D maybe. dollar sign so dollar sign do decimal positive so I wonder if I could just put till D here for low ID I guess that would be come back over here. Uh, didn't seem to like that. When it's like that, I just like to hit enter a couple of times. Now I'll rerun this thing and see what it says. did compile that, didn't I? <laughs> I think I did. Sometimes I'll save it and not compile it, maybe. No, nah, it's still giving me the same error. Let's come down to the bottom and do that again. And just to make sure it's fresh. Oh, come over here and try to delete it again. It's giving me the same error still, so... Uh, I think it's just because it's passing that inside. Like, if this was Lisp, like when I had the tilde A here, it wasn't even putting that data in my list when I was coming over here with low data, right? So, in low data, it is a number, it's not a the universal time is being put inside here as a number. So it's not inside the list, I guess I'm saying, which I was thinking maybe this tilde, which I still might want to put that there just to say, hey, it is a decimal, but it's still printing that out, uh, passing it inside seal who, I guess. I don't even think Hunch and Toots to blame for, this is maybe like seal who is passing it as that? I'm guessing. I don't know. Like, I think it would be a seal who. So, what I'll try to do, I think, is, um, I think there's a parse integer maybe. So it came back as a number. Uh, so I should just be able to come over here and say, like, parse integer, and then control R that. And then right here, it makes sense to put this on a new line, I guess. Oh, it's not red by putting on a new line either. So control C, control K. And then now I don't want to delete it without clicking the delete button, let's say. Now I deleted that and still my debug string is sitting here. So I kind of also want to say 
maybe in the same line right here. Because this is the win right here. So we can also say because this is inside the win though, which is common lift code and not the CL who I think once again to put some data out here, I have to use the CL who uh, HTM. And then maybe I could say P uh, you just deleted. And then CL who escape load title. And then if we add some fluff in here again, then, oops, oops. So notice right here, this is what I was wondering about earlier. If I hit submit, this form is a post. So I hit submit and notice that it's still leaving the get data. So, Hmm, this is probably a hunch and toot thing. So I wonder if like, if we go look, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to find it, but maybe it'll say on this documentation, let's say, if I say post, post, Oh, right here it's saying part of it so it can be a get a post or a both or a nil so it's probably like a request i could do to see in that debugging info so if i say like um Oh, see right here, it's saying it right here. It's like returns to get where the post parameter with a name. So parameter, uh, function parameter. We might be able to say like get parameter right here is one too. Anyway, like it's saying if both a get and post parameter with the same name exist, get parameter is returned. So apparently there's a post and a get parameter. And because I'm using the same name for both of them. And I bet you if I was to call like get parameter right here, it'll say like, is it gonna say get, you think? Even though I'm doing a post? I wonder if I can, uh, can I tell it right here? Can I say like this maybe? Uh, I don't know if this will work, but let's just try it. Yeah. I wonder if I'm inside there, can I do this though? Nope. Let's call this by itself, I wonder.
I wonder if I have to do that CO2 HTM thing. I wonder if I say for format T uh, tilde A CO2 get parameter. Nah, doesn't like it. I'm sure there's a way to spit that out, but. do that, I wonder. Well, I'm going to have to find that out. Lock on package to the who. Maybe I have to switch to that particular package. Seal who. But before I try to mess with that, it says it's a function. I wonder if I just try to do it as a. Okay, so I say CO who. Let's see who HTML mode I was spinning out earlier. Do this too? Why does that work? That's a function, right? Why? It says XML. Did I not set that earlier? So that means that all my code is this doc type right here, right? So maybe I'll come over here real quick and say, so who uh, HTML mode. So set F so who HTML mode, HTML5. And then if I refresh this page, I mean, I have to do it in that page over here, I guess. Be after I loaded that, I guess. F. Now, if I say CO who HTML mode HTML5, that fix that this time. Yeah. So that window isn't necessarily in the other window. That's why I should have been probably made this a package, <laughs> but I'll worry about that some other time. Uh, where was I at with this stuff here? So I try that one more time. Get parameter name. Maybe because I'm not putting a name there and it's not optional. So I wasn't reading the right thing, maybe. Request. So it'd probably be a request. The request star, maybe even. I think I was trying to grab the wrong thing. I wasn't giving it a name. And parameter name, like, it's not optional. Some other stuff is optional. So I wonder, like, 
if that would be the request right here, maybe. Oops. I don't want that there. I want it to be right here. And No. It doesn't like that, does it? Special variable. Oops. I bet you that's what I'm trying to use. So request method. It's weird with this one earmuff on there. Two on there. So, well, that other stuff didn't work either. Oh, well, uh, I have another wonderment. My variable common list request method. This is a function, not a variable. And it's saying it's inside there. So, CL. I think it's not found on there. Feedback. Okay, I don't want to mess with this anymore. I do wonder how to do this. I'm pretty sure I can use that function somehow. Uh, I don't have a package sitting there either. Oh well. I do have a Windows, another thing I'm wondering anyway. So maybe another day I'll figure that out. Cause I'm wasting way too much time on that. Uh, it's bothering me though. Stuff. If I have to get out of there, but let me just get out of here. Quit messing with that. Uh, 
what I'm wondering since it's doing this. Uh, like this is gonna add, right? Nope. What do I do now? I thought I got rid of that. And not compile it. So it deletes. But now when I do this, it's not gonna add anymore, right? Okay, because it's keeping this stuff up here. Uh, what I'm gonna try to do real quick, since I wasted so much time, is uh, Control X O and then Control X one is to actually put my form action in. So, uh, the kind of the question I had is, what do I put there? But I don't have to say like I probably have to put action. And then just put it left off, right? And do I put the slash there? I don't know. Well, I guess I'll try it without it. And reload the page. So now if I say, uh, test test, whatever, because I'm deleting it. Then come over here and delete it. It put this back up here, got rid of that. But if I come back over here and add this now, it adds it and notice it got rid of that. Like it's really bothering me that I have to find out how to print this when I know you can somehow. But, oh well. Uh, so now that's working. So I guess the last thing to do really is to put an edit button because this is getting so long. Granted, whenever I stop this, the data is gone because it's just in a list. So the next step would be to save this stuff into a file and then load that file whenever it starts, if the file is there. And then after that, maybe set up a database. Uh, I think I can get rid of this though. So far, it's going all right. Well, I'll leave that until I get everything done. Let me try to hurry up and get this edit button. So, uh, maybe write the code for the edit button down here. I'll write the href. And then after that, write... Which... I'm probably gonna have to go like this again. And this one probably can be href because it's probably gonna be too long to even stuff on one line, no matter how I do that. Well, I'll try it. The format down here maybe. So format, uh, nil, it's just so ugly, like what if I come down here and do it like this, that barely gave me more room, if I do it like that then these two could be on the same line at least. So format nil, and then I want to pass low underscore ID equals till D, I guess, and low title equal till of A, and low underscore desk equal till of A and faction for form action equal f edit and after all that it didn't work <laughs> my parentheses are still going over there so 
I think I'm just going to do it like this. If nothing else, this one can just be indented weird. How about that. But as soon as I hit enter, it's probably going to re indent that, which is hilarious. Uh, okay, so now first entry. Uh, Second inventory. Third entry. Which once again, I guess I'll do, at least do this on this one. And then now I can go. Let's make that one look weird. So that at least give me an edit button. Not do anything for some reason. Oh, maybe because I'm not adding my last thing here. Like it's probably here in the code. I just don't have a uh Like it's there. There's just nothing in my A tag right there. So that's going to be right here. Now I have an edit button that doesn't do nothing. So now in this one, I did want all three of these here the load title and the load disk and the load ID because I'm going to push these in there, edit them. And if I just passed a load ID here, then I would have to loop through those by finding that. So I'd have to say, like, loop through all these and find this. Like, if I just had passed a low ID up here, when I came up here, I'd have to say, go in that, go into my low data list, loop through all those, find the one that I want to edit, and then edit those things. But since I'm passing it right here, I'm kind of just cheating, because I'm going to throw those in the get, I guess, you could say. So now I need to, one, mm, I have to write some code to update it, but before I do that, I think I need to write some code to have another form. And I think it's gonna be easier just to have another form, even though it sucks typing all that code right here again, right? But else I would have to write some code to say if like to input the stuff inside this right here I have to say if it's f edit which I don't think I even did in there oh I did so if it's f edit format action f edit 
So right here in this input, if f edit has some value, then add the value in this here and do the same thing right here. And I don't want to do that because it's just more like crap inside there, I think. So if I just control space here, control alt B to, and then A, control A, and then alt, D, alt W to copy that. And then I'll just put this, I don't want to put it before it. I guess I could put it after it. Uh, and then make sure this is correct. Okay, so because I'm gonna be typing lift code in here. I wonder if I can just put one seal HTM around this whole thing right here, maybe. So, mm, wait a minute to, yeah, I can get rid of that in a minute. So I'll edit the record right here, let's say. I wonder though, like, I have to type less who HTMs. So if I say like a edit record, edit entry, I guess. And say when equal faction f edit. Then I'm going to wrap that whole form in here, right? Uh, then co i think i can just do this one right here i would have to do multiple co who htms if i don't do it here which might be cleaner actually but i kind of want to know if this will work so when equal faction f edit then form at the post left off i think all this stuff can stay the same Except, uh, these right here. So, I guess I'll just add it after the size and then add like a value here. And like I said, I have to put like the seal who HTM to put the Lisp code. But since I'm putting this up here, I might be able to just to do it once and then wrap both of those inside here. Which I don't know, like if there's a preferred way to do that. And these input type texts are probably going to be the same way down there. So I think I have to put format nil here like I did before down at the bottom. Till the A. Or maybe I don't have to do it on this one. Or I'm going to have to do it on this one, but I'm not going to have to do it in the text area, I bet. So if I also put low title here, that's so weird. Uh, and then if I come down to this one right here, I guess. Where is it at? Low desk is a text area. So if I was to come down here and say, like, I think on this one, I can say CL who escape low desk.
And then this way, if I come over here and put this, you just updated. Did I added it? So that F add, I should say you just added. We'll add another one. You just added that, okay. And then now if I edit this one, see how the stuff's filled in now. So on this one, let's just go look at this real quick. It's not gonna be the first text area, but the second one, because it has information in it. And so what I'm thinking is, because the text area, I'm adding the data in between the tag right here. I was able to use this CL who escape or CL who str. But because I'm adding the value inside here, which I don't really understand, but because I'm trying to add this value inside here, like I was trying to do below, it's not going to work, I think. And so. If I was to change this one, let's say, like, like if I just get rid of this right here, let's say, and make it match this. And then delete this and delete that, and delete that, get rid of those. What I wonder is if it'll show or not right here. If I come over here and edit this, oh, it still shows it. Oh, okay, so I was wrong about that. So if I come over here and add some more junk, and submit that, I just added that. Okay, so I don't have to worry about that then, I guess. So one thing I wanna do real quick is to uh, get rid of this first border. I don't wanna have a border around that form anymore. And then I almost want to leave this one like that with the border, just because since I'm editing it, it stands out or something, but maybe I'll just say like edit record above it or something. And then I always want this form right here to be here, except for maybe when I'm doing this edit let's say so on this one i could say like unless unless equal faction uh, f edit that's the only time i don't want this one to be there then now if i edit this that other form will disappear. And then maybe on this one, I can add another TR here. Like table headings go inside a table row, right? So you're supposed to put those inside there. But if I was to say on this one, I think I came over here and add a TR. And say TH full span 
equal to oops full span to uh edit edit entry and then Guess it makes sense to disappear that one. Also, maybe. And then right here, of course, there's no code to do it now. <laughs> but what kind of error is that, I wonder? to find functions. Wow, that's jacked up. Look for that. I start writing code for that. Like, that stuff like that, I wonder. No, for one, I left this the same. And then this should be like, let's make this one F updated. I wonder if that will fix that error. That seems like a different kind of error though. Now this one won't work. Function TD is undefined. All right, so I jacked something up really bad here. Oh, you don't know why? Since I uh, put this in less here, I have to add this here. Like before, I just had a form sitting here. But now that I'm wrapping this here, what I was talking about earlier is it doesn't understand any of this stuff. Just thinking those are list functions. So that should be solved. Like, wow, man, I didn't know what was going on there for a minute. So yeah. So we got F updated, but there's no code for F updated yet. Oh. I guess this will be similar to the delete. But there'll be a little more to it, I think. But it's not going to be a remove if. So. I'm not sure why I put the delete up there. Should have put it after the ad. And put the edit before the ad, so they're in the same order as these. Just cut that and put it here, I think. Make sure that still works.
So here I'll just say like, say I'm watching the series, season one, episode 02, and I'm 22 minutes and 31 seconds in there. And then I'm reading. I have Python, let's say I'm on page 21. And then now I want to edit this guy here. So delete. And then I guess I will put this edit right here, maybe. Actually, do I have the? Yeah, that doesn't matter because it's a form. I think I will just come right here and say like a uh, edit and entry. And then this is a little bit different because I'm using F updated, because I'm already having F edit, because F edit is editing the entry, and then F update is actually when you hit the submit button on that, so uh, I'm just going to call it when, so when equal faction F update F updated, so I just updated it. F update. That's not updated yet because I'm updating it right now. When equal form action, F update. And I have to do the seal who thing that I forgot earlier. And then say, uh, you just updated seal who escape low title. And I can close that P tag. And then I think right here, like if I'm going to update something, well, you don't have to update this. Like I have to loop through here anyway. I guess I'd have to loop through here, grab the data out. Well, no, this is different because that code's already there. Okay, so I'm thinking that was to input that stuff. So this is just to come over here. So I'm going to say... Um, loop or entry and load data. And then say if... Like once again, inside the loop. So I'm inside loop. And then... Of course, whenever you're typing Lisp, if it's like this, if blah, 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 kind of like right here, equal. But because I'm inside this loop, then there's no opening parentheses around that stupid loop. Uh, so if equal first entry, and then right here, I'll have to do that parse integer again, I think. Parse integer, uh, low ID. Well, if that's so, so first entry equals 
first energy or glow ID. Then I'm going to do set F second because I'm not going to change the first, which is the ID. Set a second entry to be low title. And like if I hit tab, it's not indenting that, but if I hit set up here, it'll then hit tab, it'll indent us correctly. Because you could put another do there if you want, but I don't think you have to put two do's. You can, can but I can also just put one. I guess it's kind of like a prog in or something. It's invisible, I guess. Uh, Cause there's no parentheses around it. Yeah, 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 I always do that. Control X, O, Q, get rid of that crap. And then uh, it's complaining because I did this. And then do I need a BR there? So let's just say I now want to edit this one and I've done watching this. So I left off at the end of that one. And then I got an error. And my error is the value nil is not a type string when binding string. Wow. And if I put a nil. Uh, so I can blah, 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 and blah, 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 that works. I want to edit this. Change this to ZZZ. I'm getting a nil. The value nil is not a type string, so control X B. And this is on the update. F update. And it's being nailed out, I wonder. Almost, I'm so close. Why am I getting this area error? So what's it saying is nil. So let me go down to the last one. Try to read a little further into this. So the value nil is not a type string when binding string. Thread Hutch and two running. Parse integer nil more. Left off, low ID nil, low title nil, low description nil, faction nil. That gave me all those parse energy nil. Oh, here it's saying parse energy nil though. No, so if I'm editing this, oh, you know what? I bet you in my edited field right here in my form, I'm going to have to pass. I forgot to pass in low ID. So just right here, the type here, right? Form action update in the F edit one. I want to say that I need to do an input type 
hidden and then name is going to be low ID and then the value is going to be CL who escape low ID. And then now if I do this, I'm going to edit this to be ZZZ and this to be ZZZ and submit. I just need to refresh that, I hope. It's still giving me the exact same error though. Do I dodge into work or name parse, integer nil, low title nil, low desk nil, faction nil. Why is it doing that, I wonder? It's saying F edit still. Not even showing me what anything is. And it's only on the edit form. I'm not really sure what. What's going on here? That's what I thought I had to do earlier, but certainly just delete these guys and add a new one. Not up either. Well, I got so close to doing what I wanted to do. I can delete them. If I try to edit it. And I'm just not sure on this error. Maybe I should have went down lower. here by you know it's an off-type string first integer I don't think I can see this stuff because it's not like in my repo at the same time which two worker
So it's an inlay form code seemed to be working. Maybe if I, I don't know if I can comment this out though. Yeah, it does this funky thing right there when I try to do that. The unload data. No, you know, hidden type name. Wow. It is in the form. Well, one of the errors is in the form. <laughs> I can't say if that's all of them. So we can now get rid of this debug info right here. And then I want to say this BR doesn't need to be here, but maybe another one does. There's a P tag right here, and there's a P tag right here. So if I come over here, then maybe when there's an you guys should put a BR right there, you think? Because delete, it's not on top of that. If I add one, it's not on top of that either. But if I edit one, it's on top of that. So when it's F edit, I guess. Maybe where we are here and stops that from happening. I'm in the wrong one, I think. I think when it equals F edits, and maybe right here. I'm on page 100 here, let's say. 
And then now if I came over here and watched the rest of this episode, I can say that was the last one I was on. And now let's just say I watched the third one last. Oh yeah. Uh, and then let's just say I came over to Bagger's YouTube channel. And uh, Bagger's Little Bits of Lisp. And then I'm watching Little Bits of Lisp. Hi. Hi. And I'm on... Let's see if he's got a long one somewhere. I'm in the middle of this one right here, let's say. And I just give the URL to that. And I'll say, uh, I'll just call it Little Bits of Lisp. Or Baggers. Little Bits of Lisp. And I'm right here. Maybe before the URL. I'm at 1 hour, 2 minutes, and 31 seconds. And then now I can just kind of keep up with what I'm doing. And so then if I come back over here, I should be able to go back and watch a show. Booyah. Uh, and then let's say I was watching... I don't know if there'll be another series out or not. Oh, there's a season three. So I think I actually watched up to this one. I don't know, maybe watch them all. So season two, episode 11. Oh, I was over there in the wrong spot. There we go. I think that's good. Well, actually, you I still want to now because if I restart my list, then this data's gone. So I guess the next thing to do would be save this out to actual file, like I said earlier. But man, I don't even know how long this was. I think I've been on this video forever. Ribbit!